welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be reviewing and swatching the new, well, actually it's not that new, but <laughs> the Anastasia lip palette. And I've been waiting for Ulta to get this so that I can use my points on this and it is worth every single point. So you guys already saw the swatches. So I'm gonna get started with the review. This palette has 18 shades and it retails for $48. You can find it at Ulta, the Anastasia website, or Sephora. And I'm wearing this red shade right here. But in this video, I will be mixing up a few unique shades because this is a palette that you can mix up. Um, it comes with a little palette I'm gonna show you guys in a minute. And this brush. It has a spatula on one end and then the brush on the other. I really like this brush because you can use the tip to um, line your lips. It works as a lip liner. Okay, so I'm going to talk about the formula. Um, I really like the formula. It lasts all day. The only downside is that the inner corners start going away because that's where you produce like saliva and stuff. So... Um, that's the only downside to the lip palette for me is that it wears off on the inner corners. But other than that, I wore it for the whole day and it didn't fade. When I ate oily and like greasy foods, it didn't come off as well. But wiping it off with like a cloth with micellar water comes right off. So it's not hard to take off and it lasts all day for me. And it's very like, I want to say it's in between a matte and a satin. Um... I don't really know how to describe it, but it feels super comfortable on the lips. It feels like my lips. I really like this formula. It's not even drying whatsoever. It doesn't go in my fine lines. The formula is pretty much spot on for me. I don't see anything wrong with it besides the fact that you probably have to bring this everywhere if you want to reapply it. Or you could bring it in a, like a small little container. But other than that, I see no cons with this lip palette. It's amazing and worth $48. So I'm super impressed with this. Um, I can't say enough. I highly recommend it. I've been using it for like a week straight and I absolutely love it. I can customize whatever shades I want. This is great to have if you're a makeup artist because you can't just have every shade of liquid lipstick. I mean you can but it's not practical. Um, so this is great. So yeah, I'm so in love with this palette. I highly recommend it. Um, so now I'm just gonna test out a few shades. Today I'm gonna be making a green, blue, and a nude with you guys. So let's just get started. So the first shade I'm going to mix up is a green. This shade is basically inspired by, I think it's called Dirty Money uh, from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. It's just like a really nice olive shade. So I'm going to take the white shade, the yellow, and the blue. This is a cool palette because it will help you with your color theory. Um, if you're like doing anything with color. So I'm taking blue and a little bit of yellow. And you always want to wipe off um, each shade because you don't want to mix the shades. The only tricky part with this is that I don't know how much to pick up. You kind of have to be careful because you don't want to waste your product. Okay, that looks messy. But now I'm going to mix everything and hopefully it's the shade that I'm aiming for. Okay, so this is the green I came up with. Let's put it on the lips. And this palette is super pigmented. And whatever shade you mix up, it goes on the lips really well. And like I said, I like the, the tip of this to line my lips and then the sides to fill it in. It's a great brush. Because usually the brush that comes with the palette sucks, but this one's amazing. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty shocked with the formula because with the lip palette, it's kind of hard to formulate. The lighter colors are a little bit streaky, but the darker ones are very pigmented. Um, it was just the white that was super streaky if you're planning on wearing that alone. So this is a shade that I just came up with. Obviously, I didn't have enough. Um, I'm still getting used to how much product I should pick up, but I'm going to get the hang of it. Um, this is such a cute green. It's kind of far off from Jeffree Star's, but hey, practice makes perfect. So I'm going to try to make a blue now. So for this blue, I'm going to pick up the blue shade, white, and... I don't know and I'm gonna pick up like a little bit of a nude let's see what shade that will give me so that mixture gave me like a really nice purple it's kind of like a dark periwinkle like this palette is so fun to play with 
Um, if my lips weren't hurting right now, I would try on so many different shades. <laughs> okay, so this is more indigo than periwinkle. This lip palette is super blendable and very buildable. You can make it as light as you want or as dark as you want. And these shades are very pigmented. Um, you literally don't need a lot. So that's why I'm super impressed with this palette. Okay, so let's move on to a more wearable lipstick. I'm going to create a nude shade. So I'm going to pick up 111 and the white shade, primary one. Okay, so I'll use a little corner because it's easier to just scrape it off on the sides. Um, and this is the shade I came up with. Hopefully it's cute. I'm pretty sure I like it. I like any nude. Okay, so this is the pink nude shade. I think this is so cute. Oh my goodness, it's like a muted mauve pink. So I really like this shade. It just sucks because if you want the exact shade, you have to remember how much of each um, shade you put in. But yeah, this is a great nude. I love this. So that was it for this swatch and review of the Anastasia lip palette. I really hope you guys liked this video and that it helped you out if you're wanting to get it. So if you have any other questions, let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.